Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Yen, and today I wanna to show you guys how to stitch screenshots together on your iOS device. So if you wanted to share anything more than just your screen, maybe a full web page, maybe it's in a different app. If you ever wanted to put multiple screenshots together into one image, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that today in this video. So for example, this is just a Google page extended to show multiple results. Like if you just had one screenshot, it'll only be this big. But if you stitch them together, you can show all the results. Okay, so for example, Apple did build this feature into Safari. And if I'm looking at a web page and I wanna take a screenshot, I'll just go ahead and take a screenshot, tap on that screenshot preview, and it's gonna give you the option for screen or full page. Go ahead and tap on full page. And this will extend out that entire web page. And if you wanna save this image, you can go ahead and use the share button or you can hit done. And it's gonna save it as a PDF file to your files app. So make sure you have a folder inside of your files app, either on your phone or in iCloud. Go ahead and hit save. And to access it, just go into the files app built into your phone, tap on that. And here you go, you have that extended screenshot. Okay, so that is the first way of how to stitch screenshots together using the built-in function, but I believe that's only available in Safari. I haven't found that in other applications. Maybe support will come in the future, but for now, we're going to have to use a third-party program. Go ahead and go to the App Store, download this app called Taylor. The ratings on it aren't that great, but personally, in my experience, it has worked really well for what I needed to do. Once you have this application, go ahead and go to the app that you want to screenshot. Now, one example I can think of off the top of my head is uh, Reddit, if you wanted to share like a comment thread or something like that. But there's a particular way that you need to aim your screenshots. So first of all, keep in mind that you're going to need to take consecutive screenshots. So on whatever device you're taking this on, make sure you have easy access to the screenshot controls. If you make a mistake, say, on your second of three screenshots, you're going to have to delete that. Now, secondly, whenever you take a screenshot, the bottom of the first screenshot needs to be the top of the second one. So, for example, this huge comment block is the bottom of this one. I'm going to want to keep this at the top of this screen in my following screenshot. In other words, each portion of each screenshot needs to somehow connect together. I believe you need at least two or three of them for this to work. And once you have that, go ahead and go into the Taylor application. It should just automatically stitch it for you just like this. Give it a moment and bam, you have one extended screenshot. And honestly, I think it's pretty good quality. If you want to share that, just tap the giant share button. It's going to give you that share sheet and I'm just going to hit save image. And that will save to my photos app as a vertical panorama, which honestly I think is pretty dope. And you can zoom in and see all the little details and read all the content. Now keep in mind, there is a watermark at the bottom. So if you find that watermark annoying, you'll have to like pay to get rid of it. Or a workaround that I just do is I just use the crop option built into iOS to just crop that sucker out. It is a little bit difficult, but you can do it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. Let me know in the comments if you thought this was helpful or if you have a secret tip yourself, be sure you leave it in the comments. And hey, it just might make it into a video. Subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.